Hi, welcome. So today we're going to learn how to create a simulation within the R2 Toolbox 3 from Mitsubishi and just create a new workspace. And when creating a new workspace, remember to put the workspace name, the title name, and I usually put the number, the name of the company at the title name. So here, click next and make the configuration for the robot. Remember to put the series, the type, the maximum load, and the robot model. In this case, we have a two kilograms maximum load robot, and I am doing this as if we were making the configuration for a real robot, just that we are going to simulate it. So if you have already your network configuration done, you can copy the PC settings, or you can try to write the network configuration from the menu. Also remember that the method of connection is TCP IP from the Ethernet cable. So when we're clicking finish and window will appear with simulation on it, click on it. And if we done everything correctly, we will be connected just as in a real robot. So once that has been finished, we will be having two windows. One is the 3D monitor where the robot will appear and the other one is the teach box, a virtual teach box. To create a program, go to the project tree and click right click program and click new. Write the name of the program. Remember to keep it simple. Do not use special characters or spaces between them. Just keep it simple. Remember right click program new and the name it. So what I'm going to show you is what happens if we try to save this program as a new and empty program. Uh, we'll have some problems because it is empty and it will not let us save it. So as you can see, you cannot save it, neither download it to your virtual robotic controller. So what we have to do is to create the instructions. So I'm going to use the basic one, mob, position one and then at the bottom we have an add button so we are going to get the coordinates of the robot so we can prog program the home position and we click get current position that will be the first position always remember now we can save it to the robot and we can download it And if you see at the virtual teachboard, we have the options like join tool and coordinates movement. So we can just move the robot. Remember to have your servers on, on the teach box and your speed reduce uh, 50% just for security reasons, just as we were programming a real robot. So if the servers are off, the robot will not move. And if the servers are on, we can move it. So what I'm going to do is create the second position and I am going to add it and save the new coordinates for that position. Again, get current position. And if you see the axis and the coordinates are different now. So what I'm going to do is that I am going to make some restrictions for security reasons. I am going to click, I am going to program a command that is called override and it's written OVRD and next to it you put the number or the value of the speed and I am going to create another restriction that is called delay and next to it is the number of seconds that you are going to delay the movement so if we have override that's the speed at a 30% and then it will continue moving after that it will up the speed a little bit and it will wait two seconds in order to make the next movement so i am getting another position for the their, posi their position and there and i'm going to move the robot in a tool so i can go down in an axis in this case in the seat axis similarly then i am going to look for a part so to move the view, you can click just at any space 
of the 3D monitor window and you will change the view so you have a better perspective of what's going on so once we have that we can add the position position number three and we click get program position in this case only the seat axis change if you see because x and y remain barely the same but well, we'll move it a little by x axis so next of that i will put an override so i will reduce the speed i will put a delay so i can wait two seconds and then move another position and i'm going to introduce another command that is h open it is just basically hand open when we have a tool or an end effector attached to our robotic system in this case we don't have it but if in a real robot we should have it it will open the electro-pneumatic valve that controls that that end effector in this case i am putting a number beside of it it is a one and i am telling to activate the electro-pneumatic valve number one if i put a two i can activate the number two if i put the three the number three etc so in order to deactivate i have to input another command that's called h close and the same number of the electro pneumatic bolt that we open in this case is one so basically these are very easy commands very basic commands in order to move the robot we are not receiving any signal from the plc right now we're just moving and making an automatic movement of the robot so if you see we have a uh, five commands right now we have move we have override delay h close and h open so we have five commands right now so what i am doing is i can repeat the movements that i already programmed and at the end i will put another command called end what it will do is that it will um, and the program so the robot knows that it can start again so remember that in the program you can repeat the positions that you already program so it will return the same steps that you already program it is not necessary that you program them again as a p6 p7 p8 because you already have them and i created them beforehand of moving the robot so now what i have to do is just move it and save the positions to each position that I created and basically that's it uh, next of all, uh, next will be how to run it in an automatic way and remember in this stitch box if you see we have uh, like a little logo that says automatic uh, when we are programming with a real robot that we are going to see in another video uh, we can change it to manual when we are using the stitch box and it must be in automatic when we are using this virtual teach box so what I did was save it at the robot we have to download it and then we are going to run it in an automatic way we have to go to our virtual teach box I'm just fixing the view so you can see it and in the virtual teach box we have something that says select and we are going to click that and we're going to select the program that we want to run remember that we have all the restrictions for speed so we can leave it at 100 percent we have the 30 percent at the start and remember to have your servers on and then just click start and it will and it should move automatically if there is no error or an empty uh, movement like if we forget to save a position it will run but when it reaches that position it will tell us that it doesn't have anything and it will go to an error in this case that's not happening but if you see the in, in the part that says lines we can see the position of the robot at the program the number of lines that is executing so basically that's it so I will show you 
uh, what happens with a complicated rob with a complicated more complicated uh, program and if you see I just click stop and then reset I reset the position to the first line and I can change also the speed within that icon there we can jump to a line of the program if we know which line we want to execute and when we want to stop it just click stop basically that's it so let's see another program this is the one this is a more complex program but using also these basic commands so we're repeating basic commands in order to make a more complicated program and this is like a 200 lines program and you will see in a moment what we did to move the robot actually this is a program made by a student so check it out <laughs> 